video, I'm going to go over some basic lens math and some information you need to know to help you out with the problems. Um, we're going to start off with these two equations. These are the main lens and, and mirror equations. Um, and so we have the different variables. We have f that represents the, the um, focal distance. di represents the distance to the image. do represents the distance to the object. m represents magnification, and that's going to be like how many times bigger or smaller something is. Um, then we have hi for the height of the image, ho for the height of the object, di for the distance to the image, and do for the distance to the object. And this negative is there purposely just because um, when you have uh, virtual images, which would be negative images, they actually turn upright. So if this was a negative or virtual image, a negative or negative would make the magnification positive. So we'll look at these a little bit later. Another thing, just for the sake of math, when you're rearranging these things, if you're ever re rearranging for f, you're going to inverse everything. And so that ends up being a 1 over d, di plus 1 over do to the inverse. And so I'll, you, I'll tell you how I'm typing some numbers in to just make it easier for you as I get to that point. But when, I, when, you have, when you're solving for f, that's the only time you're going to have a plus in the middle. Because when you do the, the algebra to get the di alone or the do alone, let's say di alone, you have to subtract the 1 over do first. And so that becomes 1 over f minus 1 over do. And then you have to inverse the, the whole thing. And so that's why there's a negative when anytime you're solving for a di or a do, um, there'll be a negative in the middle because of the algebra you do to get from, from here to there. Um, just more on the, I have this on my website, so you can take a look at it. But just usually we're going to be dealing with these or centimeters a lot because we're going to be dealing with small lenses. But you may you may have meters for the units, but we're going to have a lot of distances in meters or centimeters, um, and then magnification just uh, times how many times different that that is versus the original object. It's always comparable to the object. Um, some more information just to know with concave lenses. Um, concave bends towards the virtual side, and this focal point is halfway towards where the center of the circle would be, so therefore the focal point is negative. And so a concave lens is always going to have a negative focal point. Another thing that you should know for a concave lens, they only form virtual upright reduced images. You can see by this little blue arrow right here. It's always going to be smaller. It's always going to be virtual. So that means that um, there's more information you can know. First of all, that what I said before, F is always negative because of what I said earlier. But also, um, DA, DI is always negative. And so if you ever solve for, for your DI and with a concave lens and you get anything other than negative, you probably did something wrong somewhere. For convex lenses, this, these, these are the lenses. If you take a look, the images can be real. The images can also show up on this side, um, the virtual side. So they can be both positive or negative. But the lens itself curves. The front of the lens curves towards the real side. So the F is always going to be, which is the direction towards the center, is always going to be a positive. So F is always positive with a convex lens. Um, and then DI can be positive or negative. It just depends on how the scenario is set up. So these ray diagrams are just showing you what the math would do anyways. The math is just going to be a little bit better. It'll give you a perfect answer. When, whereas ray diagrams, you might not draw them to scale and you might get a slightly off answer. Um, so here's your re rearranged equations. Let's go ahead and start a couple. First of all, you have an object that's five meters away. So that DO is always going to be positive. It will never be negative. doesn't matter what size, if it's virtual or real. There is no virtual real side or image until you have an object in the first place. So it's always real. So 5 meters, and it produces a real image. So the real is just saying it's positive. Um, real image is going to be 1 meter away. What's the focal length of this lens? So we go ahead and we take that equation and rearrange it for the way that we're going to solve for it. Like I said earlier, uh, we're going to plug in some numbers. So we plug in our DI. We're going to plug in our DI. Oh, and now when you solve for it, so this is the answer that I get, but this is how I get it. In my graphing calculator, I just type 1 divided by 1 equals, plus open parentheses 1 divided by 5, close parentheses equals. And right now I have 1.2 in the calculator's memory. Well, I'm going to go ahead and my calculator has a uh, inverse button, x to the negative 1. You might have 1 over x or something like that. But if I hit the inverse button, it tells me answer negative 1. And that gives me an answer of 0 0.833 centimeters. Um, so once again, centimeters, because well, actually this is not centimeters. This is going to be meters right here. So this will be 8.33 meters, not centimeters, because we had meters in the first place. So I'll go and fix that on my website. This problem, we have an object that's 5 meters away from a convex lens. 
uh, which produces a real image one meter away. So it's going to be a positive because it's, it's real, positive one. What is the magnification of the image? And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at this equation right here. M equals HI over HO equals negative DI over DO. Um, but we don't need this HI and HO right here. Um, so it's just going to be M equals the negative distance to the image over the, the distance of the object. And we take that, we go ahead and plug in the 1. So it's going to be, going to be a negative 1 up top um, because of the negative will still stay there. And then 5 down the bottom. And we plug that into the calculator and we'll get negative Point two. And so what this means is that the object is one-fifth the height, but it's also going to be inverted because of that negative symbol. Okay, here we have the, an object six centimeters away from a convex lens, which produces a virtual Im image seven centimeters away. So the virtual tells me it's a negative. Anytime you see virtual, it's kind of like a gift. Real or vir virtual is just telling you that there's a positive or negative sign. If it just says an image that's negative, if it, or if it tells you this number is negative, that would just mean the same thing. But you have a negative seven centimeters away. Um, just ignore the extra sig fig over here. It's, there shouldn't be one. Uh, what's the focal length of the lens? And so um, when we do the focal length of the lens, we're going to go ahead and find the equation. We rearrange it for the right, um, the right version, and that ends up being this. We plug in our numbers. And then just so for the sake of typing numbers in, I type in 1 divided by negative 7 equals plus open parentheses 1 divided by 6, close parentheses equals. I have 0 0.0238 in my calculator. Well, I'm going to find that inverse button, and it's going to say an answer inverse, and I get 42, and it's centimeters because these were centimeters in the first place. So that's how I do that problem. Next problem, we have a, a 2 centimeter tall image, or, or sorry, object. It's 6 centimeters away from a convex lens, which produces a virtual image. So here it's telling me it's negative. Uh, virtual image to seven centimeters away. What's the height of the image? And so I'm not concerned with magnification. I'm going straight to this equation right down here, and I'm just going to plug in some numbers. Uh, and well, actually, I'm going to rearrange it first. So I'm trying to solve for hi. I can multiply that both sides by ho. When I multiply both sides by ho, I end up getting ho times this whole side. And so I plug in my numbers, and I get. 2.3 and the way I would type that in uh, I would just not type in the negative negative that's going to be a positive I would type in 2 times open parentheses if you want to type in a negative negative you could you could put negative open parentheses negative 7 open cl close parentheses divided by 6 then close parentheses again um, but you don't have to you can just cancel these out so you get 2.3 centimeters as the height of the image so just looking at this I can tell the image is bigger than the object was in the first place. And it's going to be, because I get an, a positive value, it's going to be an upright image. So there's a little more information that this this, this information, this, this answer will tell me. Um, upright positive images will always be, um, will always be virtual too. And then, so that goes with this right here. Okay, next problem, and that's an eight centimeter tall object is 12 centimeters away from a con concave lens, which produces a virtual image seven centimeters away. Um, so virtual, once again, is telling me that's negative. I get the, my givens. What's the focal length? Well, I don't really need that 8. I just need the di, which is the negative 7, plus the do, which was 12 in my, in my question. And I get negative 16.8. And the, how I did that, I, I typed in 1 divided by negative 7 equals, so I get negative 0.142857 in my calculator memory. I add that to open parentheses 1 divided by 12, close parentheses, equals, and now I have negative 0 0.05952 in my calculator's memory. Well, I'm going to inverse that so I can inverse the answer. And when I inverse that, I get 16.8 or negative 16.8 centimeters. So, so this, this would tell me, um, if I didn't know that it was a concave lens, having this negative would tell me that the focal point, the focal distance must be going towards the negative side. So I would know that it's concave just by that. This is the only thing that would have a negative focal point. So there's more information that I'm not really covering that this goes over that you should you should be able to know. Okay, next one. I have an 8 centimeter tall object 12 centimeters away from a concave lens, which produces a virtual image 7, meters, 7 centimeters away. What's the height of the image? So I go ahead and I'm just going to go back to, I don't need the magnification. I just need the HIHO and the negative DI and DO. 
I plug it in. Oh, I rearrange it first, just like I did before. Multiply the HO out, and it becomes this because HO gets rid. You get rid of the HO over here when that happens, and HO pops up over on this side. And you multiply everything together. Plug in the numbers, and here I would type in eight equals times open parentheses. Um, I just once again just get rid of the negative negative um, seven divided by 12 close parentheses equals and you'll get 4.7 centimeters as your answer okay next one you have a uh, find the image distance formed for a concave lens with an object distance of 15 centimeters and a focal length of 30 centimeters um, just to make sure it's not a bad idea to go ahead and draw a quick picture okay so it's a convex lens it's going to bend away and once again, this front side bends towards the focal length is going to be positive. So just to check it, because sometimes the focal length, might they might say it's positive, it's just 30, but they might not tell you it's positive. So you always want to kind of check that out. And you can check it out by just drawing a quick picture and thinking about what side. With the lens, remember, this is always going to be the real side. This is going to be the virtual side. And so if the lens curved, if it was a concave lens, or con, um, concave lens it would have been to the virtual side with a negative focal point just a note there let's go ahead and plug in and plug in our numbers we get the right equation um, we plug in our numbers and when we plug in our numbers I type in 1 divided by 30 equals minus open parentheses 1 divided by 15 close parentheses equals and then I go ahead and take the inverse of that answer and I get negative 30 but before I had the negative 30 in my calculator I had negative 0 0.0333 ish uh, repeating but that will give you, when you inverse that, you get negative 30. Okay, um, just a little more information. If you're just given information about a problem, like the DI is negative 18, the DO is 6 and the centimeters, and the M is 3, describe the image. Well, the negative 18, because it's negative, it tells me it's virtual. And then my, the magnification, if I see a number, first of all, it's positive, so I know it's going to be upright. And upright and virtual go hand in hand. It's always going to be um, virtual if it's upright. But the three times tells me it's three times the size of the object. Also, I could just take a look at it. 18 is three times six. So, so mathematically, this works itself out. Uh, we'll find the focal length for a convex lens with an object distance of 60 centimeters and a real image distance of 15 centimeters. So we go ahead and find rearrange that equation for, for, for f. And we get this. We plug in our values. And we get 1 over 15 plus 1 over 60, inverse that whole thing. And when you're typing in the calculator, once again, 1 divided by 15 equals, plus, open parentheses, 1 divided by 60, close parentheses equals, find the inverse button. But right now I have 0 0.083333. I find the inverse button, I hit that, and I hit, and I see answer inverse, and I get 12 as my answer. So the focal length here would be 12 centimeters. Okay, lastly, find the distance of an object if the object was away from a convex lens with a real image formed 60 centimeters away and a focal length of 20. Um, so here we're, we're asked for the distance away. And so we want to make sure we pull in the right equation solving for di. That rearranges to this one right here. Um, then we go ahead and plug in our numbers. Our f was 20, our di was 60. And now we have this. And then typing into the calculator, I would type in 1 divided by 20 equals minus open parentheses, 1 divided by 60, close parentheses. Get that answer, I get 0 0.03333 in my calculator. Find the inverse button, and I have answer inverse of that, and I'm going to get 30 as my answer, so here's my final answer, 30 centimeters.